Uh, Richmond College is being knocked down. Let's explore it before it's too late. This is Richmond College. The local council are completely rebuilding it because it is of incoherent architectural quality. That just means that the buildings are all different and the history is evident in the different architectural styles. The same is true of historical town centres. Lovely old doors. And an old no, national no, rail no, map. This is a Let's go up the grand staircase. <laughs> Lovely detail. <laughs> I like these handrails. I am actually quite sad that this building is getting knocked down. Hope they preserve at least this wing of the building. Because they're saying it's of incoherent architectural quality. Also, our old city centres. I like this. Sadly, one just being afraid of the UPVC, but they're still same design, just different material. This building was built without lifts because lifts were modern, very new when this building was built. So they installed stair lifts, and also in the 70s part of the building, the restaurant, they have a platform lift. Business management, and this is the grand staircase which continues up even further. Lovely, nice, and, like airy 30s architecture in this bit. The council don't like this architecture, it's just out of fashion, really. Now we're at the top. That's the control of the stair lifts and they're locked. Just about now I'm... It's actually the continuation of the grand step. It's really dark up here. So, on the level oh, below there's a recording to you. Out there that's actually this building's water tower. This building's so large it has its own water tower. As it turned out, they were actually about to record some music in the recording studio in the tower. Business management. There's the courtyard. All this exposed pipe work probably added afterwards, after the building was built. Because originally it would have been embedded in the walls, but maybe that tried new pipe work because of asbestos. So now, what's in here? Humanities and social sciences. And some more, oh, nice 30s stairs. Social, this is sociology. Continue around Central Rock. It's five o'clock, so people are doing this right now. Um, if you Back to stairway two. And here we 
are is another stairway. I think this is probably stairway four. And if you look up here, this is the demolition works because part of this building has already been demolished. And that part over there is closed because they're going to demolish that next. I'm wondering where the main hall is. This one is the school. around the first floor back to stairway three and in out from the 30s part of the building into another part of the building the 80s part it's beautiful 30s it has a dado rail and all these arches so they're like actual arches some of them are not got Nice detailing. Let's continue in stairway three. Yes. Stairway three, so it can be locked, but it's not locked. I just went up there. This is literature. And another room, and this is what the classrooms look like in general. This is stairway 10. This part of the building was built later, so sort of a, it was a transitional phase in the is built in, I think, the 50s, this stairway. And now into the 60s part of the building. I think 40s, I'd say. This actually reminds me of my first school I ever went to in the Czech Republic. There's the refectory. Let's go in there. It's through here. I don't see why they had this door. This is the part of the main building where it goes up into the factory. Blurry. My camera is refusing to focus. I'm filming it in a smooth Tomorrowland style single shot just so that I don't have to edit it too much. This part of the building is woodwork. This is the workshops part of the building. It's really cool in here. 
that's the demolished area. Richmond Council will be begging for me to give them this footage in the future. So I can't just say I'm not allowed to know. They'll be begging for this footage once this building is gone. They'll be begging for it. People will want to know what this building used to be like. They'll be begging for my videos. The council. That part leads to a demolished space. And there's a link way which goes to some more workshops. And this is the work, this is some more workshops. And then I'll go through into the Redwoods building, which is next to this one. I bet take a photo of this. This is a map of what this college was like. These are some more workshop buildings. And that is the way in. Got some workshop. Oh, I, I think I better take a different route. That's got machinery in it. And there's no guarantee that there'll be a warning before we start. I think I better find a safer way in. Safety first. There's a newer building behind there. I think that incoherent architectural quality is just another word for it has a history to it. This has actually got a corner, the modern corner that developers love to use. It's, it's basically aesthetically pleasing. It's not artistic, not beautiful. And this is what the workshops look like. And I'm in carpentry, um, going through this door into the corridor I was in earlier, which leads through to Redwoods. Redwoods. Redwoods is this way. This is the Redwoods coffee house. And this Redwoods is the 70s part that hasn't been demolished yet. Over there is, is a different part that was also built in the 70s. It's been demolished. And here is a platform lift. All of the lifts here are platform lifts. Let's go up to the grand staircase of Redwoods. This is the customer toilets for the restaurant. Does this platform lift actually work? It's turned on. This is weird. It actually accelerates. It's not, not just single speed. And the same thing when going up. Those doors say they're always locked. Why do you have a door then? Yeah. Well, the door is old. That's what I love about buildings with a history. Let's go downstairs in a lift. I've never been in a lift that actually goes, that actually accelerates before, a platform lift that actually accelerates before. It's a science hissing 
eight five thousand. Never heard of that sort of lift. Sides hissing. I think they make platform lifts. They're just filming that lift because eventually this is all going to get demolished and that lift will no longer exist. And sides hissing lifts are rare. That goes out to some area which is now locked. Last time I came here, that's how I got in. Through that area. This lobby bit is called, the ordinary doors actually worked, a bit temperamental, but they worked. Even though they're supposed to be locked because that building, that area is a bit unsafe. IT room. Sorry for the poor quality of footage. Let's continue through here. And back to the 80s part of the building. Might, might actually be 90s. And it's through here. That is, this is actually... That is actually the gate I used to get in the last time I came here. Now they've actually got a new lock for that gate because the old one is broken. And here's a stairway with a stair lift. Very common in this building because it wasn't built with lifts originally. We had to add lifts later. There's some disabled students need to come in here. That is the door that is unnecessarily always locked. Higher education only. I'm now in the medical part of the building, which means I need to use a hand sanitizer. This is a great view, I think. Let's go through. There's a class in here. Oh, no. oh, this door's locked. I didn't think it would be locked. The last time I came here, there was a lock, but it looked very, very damaged. There is the architecture of this, of Redwoods, which is the 70s part. The bricks below, concrete above, and over there some more buildings. We can see those buildings now. Oh yeah, this way. I just kept talking to myself. These are the doors that flash. They keep opening and closing, so a faulty automatic door sensor, and they flash when they open and close. Yeah, because the door sensor actually senses the door itself moving, which is pretty stupid. I'd like to get up to the top area above the workshops. There's a sign saying it will be dangerous, so I don't want to do it because safety first. And 
here. You can contrast this sort of 1890s part, that brick 1890s part. What's that? And the 30s part. And also workshops. Um, you're confident. This is the extension main building, the 80s part, which I've already been in. Let's go in the Harrop building, the weird building, it's the only one I haven't been in yet. The Harrop building says it has a lift, but I think that that's where the lift was. And the, the, oh, ah, the lift's there. But it has a key switch. And only disabled people who are students at this college have the key. And then with the staff who work with disabled people who may be visitors to this college. And that over there, let me go up, because it's not very good, it's a bit shiny. Over there is Twickenham Stadium, the ugliest building in the world. <laughs> Far uglier than these buildings. If you want to demolish something ugly, demolish that monstrosity over there. Let's continue to the top floor. The parrot. There's a building here that you've got main workshops, Redwood and Harrop. Ed. This is Habit. Those doors actually swung a bit, quite a bit. Out of that window is the Metropolitan Open Land. And it's actually the land that's used as the sports fields for this college. Nothing in there. engineering some models of stuff that you're meant to work out how work how it works often I like doing that but that is far too advanced for me so let's go up here oh it doesn't work it's been turned off I'll go around then the door is emergency only Let's go through Harrop. That is weird. There's a weird fire alarm system in this building. I'm thirsty. What type of fountain? This fountain actually works. Oh, I got my face in the picture. Uh. Let's go back and leave the college. What's 
this. There's some stairs that go oh. up. Nothing. That's up there anyway. I haven't actually been able to find. I, I haven't. What's weird is that I haven't been able to find a hall. It's a lady. This is the library. My camera is not very good at focusing, which is why it's blurry. This building is weird. It has cloisters, and which is this range around this courtyard is like replaced with cloisters and a tower. And it has a refectory. It has a refectory, um, which is um, somewhere. It has a refectory that's actually called the refectory. I just stepped on something there. It vibrated, I'm a bit scared. It has a refectory, but it does not appear to have a hall. But maybe this is the hall. Is this the hall? I can't see. No, it's got partitions in it. Or maybe that was originally the hall and they partitioned it up. Ah! Because that building there has double height windows. So it looks like it was originally the hall. Maybe they partitioned it up. Or maybe the hall's been demolished and it got replaced in the 70s. It's weird. It looks like they're having a sort of a constant. Ah, so they do have a hall. Just being turned into a sort of theatre. It's a strange theatre. Ah, uh, yeah, because the double height windows often in indicates that there's a hall in these old schools. So that's the hall. Um, so let's leave. Try exit. Oh no, my belt. It says, Welcome to Richmond upon Thames College at the door. No smoking, BG smoking area in Susan Car Park. Ah, people were, people went to their cars and they're sitting in their cars smoking because that's the only place they can smoke. That's what they were doing. Maybe they were smoking marijuana, which is why they're a bit crazy and honking their horns at me. Oh no, marijuana. Oh. This is just the library again, I already went in there. And now we're back at the entrance again. Lovely 30s doors. These are original features of a building that's sadly being knocked down. I like this building. I mean, look, it's got this detailing in all this font. And this is the tower. I don't know if it's in the 70s, but that much. 
but I really like this part. And this building is very secure. I have to leave through a high exit turnstile. So people... Oh. High exit turnstiles are used um, so that people can't just send one person who like has a good climbing ability in and, and to let the people in. Um, so they have to all come in at ground level. They have to all climb in at one time. So you can't turn it that way, but you can do this with it. And that is loud. This is the south exterior. With the tower. Now I'm outside this building. My alarm. Anti-climb paint. We apply to paint and roofing for security reasons. With the ice wash immediately. <laughs> well, anti climb paint. This building is very secure. Let's walk around the outside of it. Nice blossom on trees. Flies, they're really annoying. There's a weird box and some more 30s architecture. <laughs> It reminds me of the school I went to in Prague. The first school I went to, which was a British international school. It's just some stupid 17 year olds. Seven, 17 year olds are often very stupid. I don't know why 17 in particular, but... Boy, are they stupid. This is how I got in. I just walked in through the vehicle gates because they think that people who want to come in who they don't want to come, who they don't want to come in, who want to come in, are gonna, they're actually going to walk, they're actually going to obey signs that say no pedestrians or staff only. This is what people actually do. They come here, they park their cars and they smoke because that's the only place they're allowed to smoke. Yes. My camera's running out of memory. That is what I mean. Utter. So it's just utter. That's what it is. My crappy little hundred pound camera it's filmed Richmond College and and in a few years time I'll take it off YouTube and Richmond College will pay me about a hundred pounds to put it back. Isn't that great? I filmed... Yeah? Some people asking for directions. <laughs> that is the student car park. And let's take some pictures of this side of the college and of musical hall which is a building it's that brick building in the distance and let's take some photos of the demolition as well i can actually remember and this was a grotty 70s building and i didn't know about the 30s building behind it the beautiful 30s building they would associate the beautiful 30s building with the grotty 70s building and knock it all down so, panorama. So there's demolition, 70s, more 70s. And
and I was going to take this photo from inside a car but I'm not able to because I missed the taxi that I was I got I was gonna get in a mini cab. That's Redwoods. And that's the sports hall. These are some photos I took of the demolition. While I was here taking this photo, the builders made a rude joke. Just shows how builders don't really value manners as much as the rest of us. That is the sports hall. And some more photos of Redwoods, the 70s part. and a hyper-secure high-exit turnstile. Let's go into the sports hall. Let's go in to the sports centre. It's closed. And Can't, you can't really see anything in there. Let's turn it on. Yes! Some lights and they're working. Let's zoom out. Gives higher footage quality. And a wider area. It's not focusing properly, this camera. There's the building, the sports hall. <laughs> this is the view of Richmond College from the train. <laughs> 